I should note that I run in windowed mode on one single monitor, not in full screen, so I really have no idea how you set up OBS for that. I would assume it's somewhat similar. Everything that you are about to see here is for when you're running in windowed mode. So you have OBS downloaded and you're ready to set it up to record your iRacing videos. First things first, you have to have iRacing running in order to capture that window. I have found out that if you load up the UI from the desktop, you can capture the iRacing.exe and it will record just fine if you only utilize the UI. I suggest you go to the website and start a test session or just go into a practice in order to get the iRacing EXE running because once you capture that EXE, even if you go to the UI, it will still capture that on OBS here. However, if you load via the UI and go to the website to start a race, or capture the video from iRacing there, it will not capture it. So go to the website, load up a test session, it doesn't matter, get your car on the track just idling in the pits, then minimize iRacing down and we'll continue on. On the lower left hand side, underneath the green arrow, you will see the box labeled Scenes. Your box will be completely empty. Click the plus sign below this empty box the add scene pop-up window will come up and give you the opportunity to rename this scene i believe by default it is either scene or scene one rename this i racing plane p-l-a-i-n plane i racing plane very important to name it that right now for this purpose and then click ok here i am using test since i don't want to override what i've already got after naming the scene and clicking OK, you're back to the main window here, and in the lower left-hand corner, which was blank prior, you will now see the line iRacing Plane. Here, in this case, you see test because I've got a lot of other scenes there. You will see the iRacing scene that you just created. In case this scene is not highlighted by default, click on it with your mouse to make sure it is active for the next step. To the right of the scene box, you will see the source box and now dialog indicating for you to set the parameters for the source that you wish to capture. With your mouse, click the plus sign. A selection menu comes up. You will want to click with your mouse on game capture. A window will pop up similar with the scene where we can name this source. By default, as you see here, it is Game Capture. Rename this iRacing. The reason I had you rename the scene in the first step, iRacing Plane, is you cannot have conflicting naming conventions. For some reason or other, once you use the word iRacing, you can never use it again. So in this case, just use iRacing. That will not conflict with the iRacing Plane of the scene that we did in the first step then click OK. Ignore what you see here in the add existing window below the create scene because I've already got scenes added in. That will be blank for you. By default it will start here in the create new which is what you're going to rename to iRacing. When you click on OK another window will pop up that you see here. This is where we're going to target the iRacing.exe program. Here we see the mode is capture any full screen application. Take your mouse over to the right where you see, see the up and down arrows and click on that. With your mouse, select and click on capture specific window. Below the mode line, now you will see window all the way to the right, up and down arrows. In this drop down menu, you're going to be looking for iRacing Sim 64 DX11.exe iRacing.com simulator. 
ignore in the window what I have currently which is iracingui.exe iracing that is where when I was making this tutorial I screwed up and I used the UI as the capture and like I said at the beginning if you capture from the UI as long as you only participate in iRacing from the UI you will record your iRacing races however if you go to the website it will not record that's why I had you go to the website and set up a test session get in get in your car idling on pit road and just leave that be as we jump through the hoops here to set up the OBS recording and we're gonna look for iRacing sim 64 DX 11 dot exe we're gonna highlight and click that that will allow you to also record from the UI so one more time if you set it up from the UI you can only record from the UI but if you set this up from the website you can record the website and both the UI if you have any programs running that can be captured they will be there it's very possibly the only thing that you will see is the iRacing.exe select that so here's what you should be seeing right now the only change you will make now is down here where it says capture cursor is automatically checked by default if you do not want the screen recorder to capture your cursor motions which I do have unchecked on iRacing so you don't see my cursor flashing around the screen as I'm activating various things with the relative box and so on and so forth uncheck that and you will not see the cursor in the recording otherwise click OK all right, that brings us back to the main window. Remember, under the scenes box, you will only see one thing, and that is your iRacing plane. And under the sources, you will see iRacing, which in this case I have as game capture for this uh, tutorial. Uh, you may not see anything in the black recording window as we are looking at it right now. In order to get everything set up and triggered together, minimize OBS bring up your iRacing to the full screen then down in your taskbar click on the OBS icon to bring it up to full screen overlaying your iRacing and then you should see your iRacing program running in the OBS recording window okay so you can just leave iRacing up and running and then work on the OBS window from this point on I decided to minimize the iRacing EXE just to clean things up on the screen if you do that be aware that what you're seeing in the OBS recording window will freeze even though iRacing is still chugging along in the background okay so up in the recording window here we see the iRacing uh, program in in the recording window and you see the red bars around the active window and you see that it is not centered very well we're gonna take care of that right now take your mouse and hover it over the recording window and anywhere within the red lines on the main body that you're seeing there right click your mouse hover your mouse over transform and another window opens up with more options come down and hover your mouse over stretch to screen and click that and back at the main window the program has now filled the screen no black bars all right we're just about there just a few more video and audio settings to set and then you're good to go in the lower right hand corner of the control panel under controls uh, click settings there's nothing to be done here in the generals tab we're gonna come down and select output then select recording make sure that output mode is set to advanced all right here we're getting into some pretty basic stuff uh, recording path you can set a target where you want your uh, screen captures to be saved you can generate the file name without spaces recording format I suggest mp4 I believe the default here is FLV or maybe MOV and when you select mp4 you will get a warning that we're seeing down below about muxing and remuxing 
the the issue here is an mp4 is unretrievable if obs were to crash or your computer were to crash or iRacing were to crash if you lose power in the house you will not be able to recover what you had recorded up to that point whereas where with FLV or MOV you could recover that at a later date I have un I have not utilized this feature of OBS because it takes so long to remux as they say a one hour video that you've recorded under FLV or M uh, MOV so I just run uh, risky as an MP4 and if the computer crashes or the power goes out you know what I've just lost the file audio track you have six audio tracks I have them all checked now encoder if you have an NVIDIA card this NVIDIA NVENC H.264 is available in that selection menu uh, check that rescale output we want to leave everything at 1920 by 1080. Okay, down below that, rate control, VBR is what I have set. Bit rate. This is the amount of bit rate that you're recording at the video. Uh, 35,000 bit rate. It will give you a nice, large, clean file. Max bit rate at 36,000. Everything else, I think I left the same as default, but you can see what my settings are here. The one thing that I did find out that seemed to help a little bit was I did check mark psycho visual tuning. That seemed to take some of the stutters out of the recording. So you can just kind of copy what I've got here. We're done with output. Come over and select audio. About the only changes you're going to want to make here is in sample rate. 48KHZ stereo channel if it's not by default and then under global audio devices desktop audio use the menu to direct to your sound card and then I left everything else as the default back over to the left side menu there and select video here on the base canvas resolution we're gonna select 1920 by 1080 that's your standard HD uh, 16 by 9 output scaled resolution again 1920 by 1080 we're not changing anything there uh, downscale filter by cubic sharpening scaling 16 samples I believe that was default and I prefer to run at 60 FPS you can change that to 30 or anything you want I suggest 60 with the 35,000 bit rate that we have that gives you a really clean sharp video well, and that's it. I don't have any hotkey set up, and uh, under the advanced tab, everything there is just left as it was by default. Back on the main page here, there is one more audio setting you can play with. It's going to take a little trial and error, and that's in the audio mixer box here. You can see that there is a slider bar there that sets your decibel rating. That is the, the recording level recorded from the the program in this case iRacing I have kind of played around with that just a little bit and you can see that I have mine set at a minus 6.9 that seems to be a real nice uh, smooth area for me now you can play with the audio inside of iRacing and etc and anyway so you know that's kind of a trial and error thing there that you can play around with alright well that should get you up and running and recording your iRacing videos use an OBS uh, recorder you just uh, start up the OBS recorder, that's what I do first, or get the iRacing going and then start the recorder. You know, it's all up to you. It depends on if you have a software editor or not. If you don't have a software editor and you're just going to be loading raw files, my suggestion is to uh, get into the car. You're going to start the race. You're actually in the cockpit. Uh, sitting on the grid there ready to go and then start OBS at that point. All right, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for coming along for the ride and we'll see you next time.